Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're visiting an old abandoned house called Mavis Bank House. It's actually located in between the community of Lonehead and um, Bonnie Rig in the Glen between those two communities. So we're actually going to go and check out the house, see what it's like. It's been sitting for well, quite a few years. You'd have to check it all up. I'm not an expert at this. I just like adventuring and looking at places. I'll read you some information during the video. And yeah, so let's get going. Started here and automatically there's a war memorial at the entrance of where I'm going to be going in. So yeah, let's do this guys, we'll take a walk along. I've never been here before, and we're gonna go and try and find the place. So it's worth probably noting to you that this place was a private house built in 1700 roughly and um, I think it had been owned by a couple of families, it was specially built for a family, 1720 something and uh, later in its life it's apparently been used as a um, asylum of some sort. Somebody I just met on the path told me it was a nursing home, so yeah. Let's check it out guys, we're just walking on the side of the river just now. As I say, I've never been here before, but it's an interesting path. Okay guys, so we have came off of the, the river path along the side of the river. Asked some local people what way it was, so they've directed me on this path. So let's see. I think that seems to be some kind of um, walled garden uh, on my left here. I'm going to have a little look inside and see, see what's in there. So actually that looks like it's somebody's uh, private land, looks like they own the house in there, it's pretty impressive. Must have been a really old uh, old piece of land that and somebody's, somebody lives there now, nice. So we've uh, made it up the path here and we've got an absolutely amazing view of the, the walled garden. I think this is actually Mavis House walled garden. It must have been part of the house a long time ago, but pretty impressive. I said somebody, it looks like someone lives here, but I don't think they do. I think it's some sort of protected garden, I'm not sure. Historic Scotland maybe owns it, but check this. Let's 
keep moving. So we've just came up from the garden. Oh wow, just coming across conkers there. Good conker tree. But yeah, we're just uh, coming up another path from the bottom of the garden again. People have been telling me apparently I should be coming to the house soon. Let's see. Right, I'm a bit out of breath. We've literally came up that path, which I assume is actually the old road to the pro property. And right now we're just standing on a bit of grass, but it's clear this used to be the access road. It's now just grass, but this must, there is no road leading to this property. So let's go check it out. really old. It's completely fenced round and today seems to be a bit of an open day so people are about and I don't know if they're official people so I have to be a bit careful where I'm going. Seems like there's a tour going on round here, so I don't want to go and interrupt them. It 
It's a shame the whole place is fenced off. I don't know if I caught them on camera there, but there's a lot of people. There's a good 20, 30 people around there having a tour. I don't want to cause any disruption to people's tours, so we'll go around the other side. There's two people at the entrance too, otherwise I'd, I'd walk in, but you can see over there inside that building, most of the roofs are off, the ceilings and... So yeah, we'll go around the other side and have a little look, see what we can see around that way. A little old walled lane along here, it's obviously used to be an actual access road. And somebody told me this, I think, is possibly something to do with an ice cave where they, they, um, they would keep ice, to keep the ice cold. We'll see if we can get round the round the front and go round the other side. Again, it's all walled around the back here. So this would have been all part of the old boundary of the land, probably. So I've come along to the front again, and then instead of going round to the right, I've came along to the left, and I've just found myself at, at a wall at a dead end. The fence has literally ended at the wall. Seems a bit of a clearing here where people have uh, been climbing over. Um, and over the other side there seems to be a couple little buildings, an old wall. See where they've been climbing over. I wish we could have uh, got a better spot and there wasn't so many people around. But what I'll do for you is read you a bit of information about the place from Wikipedia. Mavis Bank is a country house outside Lone Head, south of Edinburgh Midlothian in Scotland. It was designed by architect William Adam in collaboration with his client Sir John Clerk of Pennycook and was constructed between 1723 and 1727. Um, this is the first Palladian villa in Scotland and it's described by Historic Scotland as one of Scotland's most important country houses. There you go guys, so it's actually quite an important place. The building was actually altered in the 19th century but suffered decades of neglect in the 20th century. The interiors were gutted by a fire in 1973 and the house remains a ruin. So there you go. That's pretty much the covering of it. Recently the local council have said they're going to put 5.3 million into, into fixing the house back up, renovating it. So it'll probably be some sort of stately country house that you'll come and visit fully revamped one day. A little bit more sort of history on it is that um, it, it passed out of the Clerk family in 1815 and in 1840 the house was extended. So that's when they did work on it um, by the Thomas, by Thomas Hamilton, whoever this guy was. So yeah, they, they added a ballroom, stuff like that. 
But most interestingly, in 1876, this building actually turned into an asylum. So it's probably uh, like a mental hospital. And in those old days, things were very wrong and they just housed these people, didn't know what to do with them. So there's, there's lots of abandoned asylums all over the place. So yeah, guys, there's a little bit of history for you. Other than that, you can do a bit of research yourself on the place. Yeah, let's get a last little look around. Bit of a wee climb there. Are you going to get in big trouble for walking in there? Are you going to get in big trouble for walking in there? I'm not planning to touch it, it's just going yeah, a bit just, yeah, just along there. I mean, I mean the danger is uh, yeah. if you, something falls off the house. So yeah. I would do it before anybody touches it. You think I can get away with it? Yeah. So. I'll go a wee walk, I'll not go anywhere, just closer. Yeah. <laughs> Cool guys, I asked somebody's opinion and they said if I don't go too close to the buildings I should be okay coming a bit closer. So get you a bit closer to the building, that's cool. Look at the size of that big wooden shutter that somebody's made to try and block the window. Absolutely no ceilings left on the place. Wow, the floors are all gone and everything and you can actually see um, there's a basement as well. Alright, one, one of the boys had said if I didn't touch, just don't nah, go too close. Ah, right. Yeah, if something happened, mate, I'll right. say aye. Right. I've made a lot of insurance for them. Ah, right. I was only going to, I wasn't nah, going to touch it. You can't even go like t uh, two metres from it, eh? Aye. Right. Because stuff falls all the time. Alright, cool, cool. So unfortunately, I was stopped. It was worth a try, guys. If we come back round and the guy's away, we'll have another shot. <laughs> but otherwise, we got stopped. Glad I got a little bit of a close-up. 
you can see the interior is absolutely wrecked. We're going to go back around the back here hopefully and get a better view and hopefully all the tourists have moved on. I wish I could have got in further today, but there's always still a chance. We'll keep going. I don't want to be getting caught on that. That's some, that's some proper barbed wire right there. Just about fell on my fell on my just about fell on my earse, as you would say in Scotland. <laughs> God now I'm getting caught on a bramble. <laughs> well overgrown on this side. So we're now back round the other side of the wall uh, where we couldn't get round before and we've now came right round the other side and we're back at the area of the wall where um, we were looking over before, so we're back here again. Just interestingly, there's old basement and access there, old windows you can see of the wing that's been added on. It's 
it's all heavily overgrown. Try my best here not to slip down the mud. I'm gonna come down here and have a little look at uh, what this is all about. So this is coming down underneath the building. Oh, interesting little path. Interesting little path that somebody's made up there. Must be all the dog walkers. And then there's a bit of land here, it's interesting. So you can see these, uh, these sort of doorways. That one's got steps. Also an old window. And another doorway there. Don't know if those accessed into the basement or just into the land. But this is obviously an extended piece of the land here. And right up here is where I was before, hanging over when I was around the other side. Obviously, some kind of old storage unit they've been using to store stuff. There's been another walled area in there with a door at the end. It looks like the path just goes back round. So we're just gonna make our way back round the front one last time. And I think we can maybe get up here. We'll go around the front, have another last look at the front of the building. And that'll be us guys. There's absolutely no access to this building for vehicles or anything like that. Oh, this is really out. There's actually no path here. I'm just out in the wilderness now. But what I find interesting is there's a little set of steps in here leading to a garden or some sort. Look at those old steps. We're gonna follow the steps, see where it takes us. Looks, looks like we can't really get out here, so we're gonna walk back around the front. I could probably make my way through the bush but you actually can't make your way through there. <laughs> Let's continue around the front again. I 
Right guys, that's us back round the front. I think I've got a couple of nettle stings through my trousers. <laughs> Let's check it out one last time. We'll be on our way. It's the carbons, I'm looking forward to seeing them come yeah. off and, and yeah. what anyone needs replaced or anything like this yes. one here with the yeah, brick is. Yeah. They'll need to, you know, they'll want to replace that and um, sort of have what's there. So we can do. Oh, yeah. sort of Were you on the <laughs> talk? Did, did you go to the talk? Or did you miss the talk? You know, what's that? No, I wasn't on the talk. Oh, right. no. Are you interested? Just though? walking around there. Yeah, no, good, good. Whoa, I've been right round the well that path. <laughs> Sweating, climbing up at all. <laughs> Did you get up to the, uh, the platform, the old, um, they say it was Ruben Ford, it was never Ruben. So the hill at the back. The hill behind. Yeah. All right. Um, the and then look down. Yeah, it's quite <laughs> overgrown, yeah, it's, it's, it's but... Yeah, I tried to climb a little bit up the back yeah. there and got a better it's view. It's a struggle, yeah. but there's a lot of earthworks up there. Um, and uh, which, I think Clark... He reshaped it to make it look more like a kind of old Roman thing. Yeah. But just rub a wall. So you probably missed the news that there's going to get some funding to... Repair. Yeah, I had a little read-up before Did I came. Yeah, yeah. 5.3 million That's or great, something. Yeah. Yeah, I've yeah, read so a little bit about it before Landmark I came. Are the ones I do a little YouTube channel and I'm making a video oh, for it for my YouTube channel. What's that called then? It's, it's called LETV. If you put LETV YouTube, uh -huh. you'll find all my oh, videos. Brilliant, okay, yeah, yeah. well done. Yeah, yeah. yeah so I, I looked at it. Yeah, looking yeah. at old built in. Anything interesting, yeah. really. And Fantastic. Yeah, I've just been in Devon and done tons of videos in Devon. Nice. So, yeah, so. Great. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, been nice a few places. Went to the Barrowlands in Glasgow oh, I not love long ago. That. Yeah, so there's a few videos there. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah the barras, that was fun. Definitely look at that. Yeah. yeah. God, I'm sweating buckets here. <laughs> it's suddenly got quite warm, hasn't it? I know, eh? Oh, well, I'm done. Take <laughs> See you later. Nice Cheers. <laughs> there we go, guys. So that's us. Met a couple of people there. Um, friendly people. Don't want to put people on camera, but you could probably hear a conversation. So yeah, that's been fun. Right guys, I'm just finished the video at Mavis Bank House, and I'm here with Gillian, and I just wanted to say, if I hadn't met Gillian, I wouldn't have known where I was going. I'm here with Gillian's lovely dogs that have become my pals. Hey. So, say hi to the dogs, and hi to Gillian. <laughs> just walking back down the path here, guys, and can't resist a little conquer. Remember that excitement when you used to find conkers when you were kids? Collect a couple of conkers for my kids, I think. There we go, that should keep them happy. So that's us, we're just on our way back down the path. Heading back, that's us finished. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Unfortunately, couldn't get in. But I think I've got lots of good footage for you. So that was Mavis Bank House. Abandoned old house. Once used as an asylum. And that's us. So thanks very much for watching the video, guys. Make sure you've subscribed. Share it to your friends. And I'll be... Uh, coming back more videos soon and I'll see you on the next one peace